President Trump? I really don't know what he said at the end of that sentence. I don't think he knows what he said either. When I talk about the fact that the expectations were already low for Biden, you want to know how low they were? After the debate, after the debate, Jill Biden and Joe were on a stage, and this is what Jill had to say about Biden's debate performance. I thought this was hilarious. I think this is I think this is probably the funniest clip from the whole thing. Here's this. Joe, you did such a great job. You answered every question. You knew all the <laughs> The bar for Joe to do a great job is is this. Once again, listen. You did such a great job. You answered every question. You knew all the <laughs> And let me ask the crowd, what did Trump do? Oh my gosh. You want to talk about something, somebody evil. You want to talk about evil? Evil is not Joe Biden. Well, I shouldn't say that. Joe Biden now is a feeble old man. I don't think he knows what he's doing half the time. I think he's half there. Evil is somebody who actually is pretty clearly in control of her faculties. And yet she is consistently showing that as if, as if she's just ignoring how Biden acts, how feeble, I mean, even just look at him in this clip that I'm playing, look at the man. He looks so, he does not even realize where he is. She goes, you, she, for anybody, anybody who doesn't know, there has been a constant meme since basically Jill Biden was in office that she was, uh, because there was a rumor that she was very, very keen on being called doctor because she does have a doctorate. However, her doctorate is not in anything of a traditional doctor. Uh, she, she, if you were on a plane and you were choking to death or having a heart attack and they said, is there a doctor on this plane? Jill Biden might raise her hand, but she couldn't help you. Her doctorate, I believe, is in education. So she might be able to tell you why you're having a heart attack. Uh, but if you want to, if you don't want to die, well, if you don't die from the heart attack, you'll probably die of boredom. But Jill Biden speaks to Joe in this clip, like an educator, like she's teaching a kindergartner. Great job, Joe. You answered the questions. Yeah. Pardon my French, but it's a fucking debate. What was he supposed to do? Not answer them? Alas, in some instances, he didn't answer them either. So Jill is also a liar. And then she goes on to just say, Trump's a liar, 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 liar. And the thing is that Joe was clearly a liar. I pointed out at least two of them on this show. Insulin. The, the, uh, the Afghanistan draw. He said that, that he hadn't that no one had died under his watch. The suckers and the losers statement. He's a liar. He is a liar. Jill is committing elder abuse by constantly pretending like Joe is perfectly fine. He's not doing anything wrong. He's fine. He answered all the questions. He did a great job. Oh my gosh. Interestingly enough, however, Joe did, has been, continuing on the campaign trail. And these are just some of the ways, or some of the things that he had to say most recently on the campaign trail since the disastrous debate. Absolutely disastrous debate. Here's this. I know I'm not a young man. Let me know that it's there Thank now, please, in the comments. I'd appreciate it. Well, I know. Oops. I don't walk as easy as I used to. I don't speak as smoothly as I used to. I don't deba debate as well as I used to. But I know what I do know. I know how to tell the truth. <laughs> I know, I know, I know right from wrong. <laughs> and I know how to do this job. I know how to get things done. 
I know I'm not a young man. He knows. He knows he's not a young man. He knows that he doesn't debate as well as he used to. He knows, he knows, he knows. But he still claims that he tells the truth. He claims. But we all know that's not true either. Joe Biden has shown constantly recently that he cannot handle everything put in front of him. But evil actors such as Jill and for a long time the DNC have constantly propped up the feeble-minded old man in an attempt to try to make it seem like good old Grandpa Uncle Joe that definitely doesn't shower with his daughter and sniff children is just a moderate that wants to help you. However, the shtick was clearly, unavoidably, given up due to this debate. And the thing is, is I wonder, are we asking ourselves the right questions? Are we asking ourselves the right questions? Because now I believe I have more questions about this upcoming election than answers. And I think there's one important question that Donald Trump pointed out clearly in his most recent rally since the debate that we should be asking ourselves about Joe Biden. And here's that. The question every voter should be asking themselves today is not whether Joe Biden can survive a 90 minute debate performance, but whether America can survive four more years of crooked Joe Biden in the White House. Whether or not America can survive four more years of crooked Joe Biden in the White House. He's right. He's right. However, Donald Trump doesn't, or at least maybe he does. Donald Trump is acting under the presumption that Joe Biden is going to be the nominee. Because while Donald Trump is pointing out a very, very important thing that Americans should be asking themselves whether or not America can survive another four years under Joe Biden. Democrats are asking an important question, too, to themselves, and that's whether or not their party can even survive through this election cycle with Joe Biden as their nominee. So now they might be offering up Joe as a potential sacrifice in the mainstream public eye and doing what only fringe conservatives, right-wingers like myself, have been saying basically since a year ago, that I'm not convinced Joe Biden will be the nominee. The Democrats could do just about anything they want to. But the difference now is that it's not just right-wingers like myself talking about this. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you thought of this video through liking, subscribing, commenting, and sharing. As always, I'm praying for you. God bless you. God bless America. And thank you so much for tuning in to Speechless.